Good morning! Halika, magkapi tayo! Father Jed, our gospel today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 52 to 59. It says, The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For the flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father. So whoever eats me will live because of me. Thus far is the reading for today's Gospel Reflection. He who eats this bread will live forever. What is it for us? What is God's message for us? through this gospel text today. After listening to Jesus preach to the people, the Jews began to argue among themselves. How could this Jesus possibly give them his flesh to eat and his blood to drink? This was not only was ridiculous, it was not all appealing. Who would even think of eating human flesh? Jesus then tells the people that they will not have life within if they do not eat his flesh and also drink his blood. However, if they choose to believe and accept what Jesus is saying, they will have eternal life and be raised up on the last day. The day will live forever. Underline that. In this reading, the words flesh and blood are a Hebrew term or idiom referring to the whole person. Flesh and blood means the whole person. So, Jesus was not talking to them literally eating his flesh and drinking his blood. But rather, he is speaking of metaphor here. Jesus wants us to understand and believe that when we receive the body and blood of Jesus, we truly encounter him in a deeply personal way or in a very special way. When we receive his body and his blood, we truly are in communion, in unity, united, interconnected with Jesus himself, our challenge. In the Old Covenant, bread and wine were offered in a thanksgiving sacrifice as a sign of grateful acknowledgement of the Creator as the giver and sustainer of life. Melchizedek who was both a priest and a king in the book of Genesis chapter 14 and 18 and the letter to the Hebrews in chapter 7 verses 1 to 4 offered a sacrifice of bread and wine. 
His offering prefigured the offering made by Jesus, our High Priest and King. That's from the Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26. The remembrance of the manna in the wilderness recalled to the people of Israel that they live not just by earthly bread alone, but by the bread of the Word of God. That's from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 3. At the Last Supper, when Jesus blessed the cup of wine, He gave it to His disciples, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. That's from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 28. Jesus was pointing out to the sacrifice he was about to make on the cross when he would shed his blood for us, thus pouring himself out and giving himself to us. His death on the cross fulfilled the sacrifice of the Passover lamb, whose blood spared the Israelites from death in Egypt. Jesus chose the time of the Jewish feast of the Passover to fulfill what he had announced at Capernaum, giving his disciples his body and his blood as the true bread of heaven. Jesus' passing over to his Father by his death and resurrection is our new Passover. Do we believe and trust that when we eat and drink the body and blood of Christ, do we simply eat the bread and drink the wine, but we do not choose to encounter with Jesus as our Lord and our Savior? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you nourish and sustain us with your own presence and life-giving word you are the bread of life, the heavenly food that sustains us and produces everlasting life within us. May I always hunger for you and be satisfied in you alone. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Okay? So, paano ito kapatid? Don't forget to finish your coffee. Thank you so much. Magandang buhay sa ating lahat. May God bless us all. See you on Monday.